Hi guys, my name is Vladka and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm gonna show you how to make an alternating diamond Sharon friendship bracelet which is available on bracelet book under pattern number 43069 and which looks especially good with any gradient color combo. I made a few using different color combos and they all turned out awesome. If you are new to my channel, Make sure to subscribe and to turn on notifications, so you do not miss my new tutorials. Now, are you ready for some knotting? Then let's begin! To make this bracelet you need 12 strings, 2 darkest colored strings, each 150cm long, 4 white strings, each 70cm long, and 6 strings. Other three from each gradient, each 120 centimeters long. The thread I am using is anchor thread and I will link it in the description below. I already made twisted ties and a shaped start at the top of my bracelet. If you do not know how to make them, I will link the tutorials in the description below. I picked this row for the start of my bracelet, so we first need to make a backward knot with the darkest green string on the right onto the darkest red string on the left. And proceed by making 5 backward knots with it onto the strings on the left side. Once done, take the darkest red string and make 5 forward knots with it onto the strings on the right side. Then, take the white string on the right side and make a backward knot with it onto the white string on the left side. Next, take the white string on the left side and make a forward knot with it onto the next white string. Then, take the white string on the right side and make a backward knot with it onto the next two white strings. Take the lightest green string on the left and make two forward knots with it onto the white strings. Then, take the lightest red string on the right and make two backward knots with it onto the white strings. And to finish the row, a backward knot onto the lightest green string. Then, Take the next green string on the left and make two forward knots with it onto the white strings and one 
onto the lightest red string. Then, take the next red string on the right and make two backward knots with it onto the white strings and one onto the lightest green string. And to finish the row, a backward knot onto the green string. Take the next green string on the left and make two forward knots with it onto the white strings and two onto the red strings. Then, take the next red string on the right and make two backward knots with it onto the white strings and two onto the green strings. And to finish the row, a backward knot onto the green string. Then, take the darkest green string on the left and make two forward knots with it onto the white strings and three onto the red strings. Then, take the darkest red string on the right and make two backward knots with it onto the white strings and three onto the green strings. And to finish the row, a backward knot onto the darkest green string. You can see how the colors change sides. We now have red on the left and green on the right. Start on the right side first. Take the whites and make a forward knot with the second onto the first string. Then take the lightest green string and make two forward knots with it onto the white strings. Take the next green string and make two forward knots with it onto the white strings and one onto the lightest green string. Take the next green string and make two forward knots with it onto the white and two onto the green strings. Lastly, take the darkest green string and make two forward knots with it onto the white strings and three onto the green strings. Then, 
Once done, repeat the process on the other side, using the red strings. Just instead of making forward knots, make backward knots. Continue knotting as explained before until you are satisfied with the length of your bracelet. Then finish it with shaped end and twist the ties, for which I will also link tutorials in the description below. And a small tip. It's important to straighten the bracelet by often pressing the edges inwards, in order to keep them as straight as possible. And your alternating diamond chevron friendship bracelet is done. Do you like it? Will you try to make it? If yes, which color combo will you use? Let me know in the comment section below. If you found this video useful, like and comment and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you do not miss my new tutorials. Not with you next week. Bye!